How long has it been since I've done a review of Dino Fury? Too long? No? Well, I'm gonna get it done, because why not? I'm Mega Man NG, and I welcome you guys back to another Power Rangers Dino Fury episode review. Today, we're talking about episode 12 of season 1, Super Hotshot. And I would like to give shoutouts to my friend Michael for providing me the link to the episode, as well as Decca Broken and the glorious friends at the UK. Since, well, they're releasing the episodes before Nickelodeon. Screw Nickelodeon. I really could not care less what they do. Anyway, I'll provide a summary as well as some of the details. This review's not as long because I'm kind of running late. Hopefully the next review I'll make it a better one. Because honestly, when this episode does come out, hopefully you watch it and you tell me your thoughts. Since, well, with the schedule, what can you do? Let us begin. The Rangers are doing some training exercises in the park when they get word about a new gym opening up. The coach in charge wants them to be the best, but there's something about her that really doesn't add up. It gets worse when Slyther and Mucus hatch a plan to manipulate the Ranger hotline in hopes of getting more Sporex undetected. The Rangers have their work cut out for them, but for Izzy, upon seeing what Coach Bella really is, has her own battle. Can she be able to show the others, especially the people in the gym, what kind of person that coach really is? So yeah, that's the whole plot in a nutshell, the synopsis. A new episode means new review. Like I mentioned in the beginning, thank our glorious friends at the UK as well as Decca Broken on Twitter for providing the episode. Because I don't have Nickelodeon. And I'd rather not support Nickelodeon because they're going to be getting a massive L come the end of the year when they lose Power Rangers. This episode is an Izzy Focus one, as it centers on her and Zato joining a new, new gym that recently opened up, only to find out that the coach, Coach Bella, isn't who she seems to be. And trust me, that coach ain't a pretty one, believe me. In terms of the bad guys, what they're up to, it seems that Mucus and Slyther are trying to manipulate and hack the Ranger hotline. It's a clever strategy, but sadly it gets foiled thanks to the Rangers, despite their many attempts. But you gotta admit, they're actually playing smart. Having the Ranger hotline distracted would allow them to get the Sporex on Detective and ensure that the Rangers don't even know what they're doing. Speaking of which, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Izzy is the star of the episode, and you actually see how all she wants is to improve and get better. Yeah, she's athletic. Very athletic. But then upon learning that the coach, Coach Bella, was a slime ball, yeah, seeing her expression really shows you just how screwed up she is. It's like reality just hit her with a ton of bricks. And yes, Coach Bella is a scumbag. Scumbag is too appropriate. I don't mean the actress, though. The actress did a good job portraying Coach Bella. It's more like she's a dirtbag. The coach, I mean. But I wish she got her comeuppance, but what can you do? It's a kid's show, and they have to feel like for 22 minutes. It's also one of the few episodes where the Rangers don't summon their Zords. Yeah, I know it's mostly stock footage based on the Sentai you soldier, but what we got instead are some awesome fight scenes. The highlight for me personally was Javi and Izzy kicking butt against Slyther. Goes to show how those two brother and sister duo work as a team. Plus, we also get a nice debut of the Dino Daggers, unless they've already been seen already. Oh, and get this, Void Knight does not appear in this episode at all. I don't know what he's up to, but hey, he'll strike when he wants to. At least we get to see the underlings get to shine, so I got no, no complaints. Shoutouts to Campbell Cooley for doing a great job portraying Slyther. Love them as Scrozzle, and he's doing even better. Speaking of the monster of the week, Foxshell, he'll be back. Yes, we do get to see him battle the Rangers, but being able to use Fog to cover his escape was actually pretty clever. And yeah, we'll be seeing him again, trust me. As for the episode ending, it was a satisfying one. But hey, at least that's a good ending at least, because we get to see Izzy becoming a gym trainer. Helping out all the different people that were like sold out of the gym, and yeah, I only wish the, sh the coach got her comeuppance. Overall, the episode is another good one, and it's nice we get to see more of Izzy and how much she does care about her friends and the people around her. Not to mention there was also a side plot involving the K-Borg stuff with K, and it was actually kind of funny. It was a bit funny, not gonna lie, but it just made me laugh a little having to like have a robot deciding whether drink or sweat, and then she and it fires towels all over the place. That was a bit hilarious. This episode gets an 8.5 out of 10. I really did like it. 
And hopefully I look forward to more of this series. Speaking of which, we actually found out about the rest of the episodes for season one. And surprise, surprise, there's going to be holiday specials, episodes 21 and 22. Whatever the case, I really look forward to seeing how the rest of the season is going to be unfolding. Come season two, when it's on Netflix, I will have to pretty much be going on a binge, reviewing whatever I can. And hopefully if we get more new episodes, that means you guys will be getting more reviews. So that's it for this Dino Fury episode review. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. If you haven't seen it, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Look up Deck Up Broken on Twitter. That's where you'll find the episode. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully for the next review for episode 13, The Matchmaker. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. You so cool.